Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Salisa and I'm coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these flower cash envelopes. Now you can use them to make full size cash envelopes like for sinking funds, similar to this size. The measurements will just be different or you can make them for little small ones. These are the type that I carry in my wallet um, and I keep my cash envelopes with me. Um, and so you can also make them this size. I'm gonna be showing you this size, but if you want the measurements for the larger size sinking funds, I'll go ahead and link my other video above as to how to make your own clear cash envelopes. And these ones will have flowers in them. All right, so if that sounds like something that interests you, stay tuned. Here's another, here's another example of one that I use. I have one for gas, and so this is my actual gas envelope. I also have one with my name, Salisa, on it that has double flowers like this. Um, and I'll show you how to avoid this where you cut off the top of the flowers um, because if you notice in these other ones, they're not like that. So the first thing you need is a paper cutter. Everything that I'm using in this video, I will be linking down below in my Amazon storefront. So feel free to use those links and purchase the um, pieces that you'll need to make these envelopes yourself. I'm using one single laminating sheet like this, and I've already pre-cut them, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. The first thing you wanna do is get rid of these round edges on the edge of the laminating paper. You want it to be more square, um, like this end, even more square than that. So you put it in, put the paper in, scoot it down so you can see. All right, so you put the paper in. I like to put it all the way against the bottom here and push it in and I'm looking for trimming off just this gray area on the side. So I'll trim that off and it makes a little strip like this. That, my cat loves to play with that. <laughs> That's for her. Anyway, once I do that, it is nice and square on the ends. As you can see, it's much different than it was before. I put that side in and I cut up to three inches. So I lay the paper right at the three inch mark right here and I cut and it makes a long strip. I do it three times on one sheet of laminating paper. So that's one, two, and one more will be three on this particular laminating paper. And there's three. So now that I have these three individual sheets or strips of laminating paper, I line them all up and I put them in and I go to three and a half inches. These little envelopes are gonna be three inches by three and a half inches and I'll put the measurements on the screen for you. So I go to three and a half and I cut that and it makes three little pieces like this, which is the beginnings of the cash envelope. Let me do it one more time. So out of one sheet of laminating paper, you can get six of these little mini envelopes. All right, and here's the other three. So now let me gather those up and move the paper cutter to the side and I'll show you how we actually make the envelopes. Now you're gonna need a piece of laminating paper. So we'll use this one. And I open it up. Oh, wait. Oh, one thing I wanna show you. There's a trim across the top, which this is the closed end, and then it opens on this end. Okay, so when you feed it into the laminator, I learned from the last video I make, you put the closed end first so that it won't catch. It still catches sometimes, but it does help. So I open it up like this and lay it flat. And the first thing you wanna do, let me get it in frame, is take one of these little ones that we cut, you turn them inside out. Now there's a shiny side to this laminating paper and then there's a dull side. The dull sides will stick together. So inside of this big sheet, both of these pieces are dull. And when we turn this inside out, these two um, shiny sides will never stick together and that's the pocket for the envelope. And so you line them up really good together. 
and then place them down on the sheet. I like to put no more than six on one sheet and I do put them pretty close together because I'll show you, I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the border um, before we laminate, just so it doesn't catch. Do it again. Hopefully the lighting's not too bad. I know it's dark outside, so. I'm trying to film this after I got off work. But I did have some orders to make myself. If you don't know, I have an Etsy shop where I do make these. Um, and if you want to purchase them from there, you can just click down below. All right. So the next thing you'll need are some pressed flowers. And I'll have some links down below for different colors of flowers. These are some yellow ones that I have, pink and white. Here's some purple ones that I have. Here's some orange, white, yellow, red. And so we'll be using those. Now these flowers that I purchased did come with these tweezers. Um, and if I don't see the exact flowers that I bought, then I will link a link down below where you can find some of these really pointy tweezers. They help to pick up the flowers. You pretty much need to just get creative. With your pair of scissors, you'll first cut open the package. We'll work on making this, these three the same as these three because these are both one or two separate customers so they'll look exactly the same. So I like to take it out but I don't take it all the way out because there's so many little loose pieces in here and I get my little tweezers and pick up one of the flowers like this. And that one I'm gonna put down, hmm, yeah let's put it down here in this corner. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the one in the middle on the other side that and put it down here okay now the next thing you want to do is pick another color I'm gonna pick a blue and put it right next to it and then I do want to put some greenery this yellow pack has some so what about this piece like this I'm gonna put that piece down let's put it here Put it down long ways. Now, one thing I do want to say, when you're creating the top, you're going to cut off a little bit of this edge to open this envelope. So you want to bring it down a little ways, not right at the top. Okay. And now you want to put some flowers on top of the greenery. And I think I'm going to use a yellow one just because it's right here. So yellow one will go on top of that. You want to make sure that it's down a ways, not all the way up. So that can be a yellow one and another yellow one. All right, like that. So that's gonna be those two. And let me show you what they look like. They're very vibrant, very pretty. Now, sometimes one will come like this and I will just break it in half. Let me find how I can break this one. There we go in half like this to two pieces and I think this time I'm gonna go this way and this one too I'm gonna take off that little edge and go this way okay like that and then I'll put one of these color pink flowers on it so let me get down here and get this pinkish white one this one will be really soft in color. Put that on there. And I have another one on this side here, like that. And then I need another color. Let's put red in the corner. So I'm gonna to go to this pack and try to get these little ones down here. Like this. And I'm gonna put that one up in the corner. And remember, you don't wanna put it on the tip tip corner, but a little bit down a ways. And I think I might also put a white one. Take one of these white sunflowers and put that up at the top as well. And this one's gonna get a sunflower in this top corner, as well as one of these little red ones. Just like that. 
All right, for the bottom ones, I think I want to do pink and per pink and orange. So I'm gonna take these orange ones. Actually, let's see if I can find. I'm gonna take one of these big fern pieces and put it down first. On one of these. Sometimes I have cut these little leaves but I'm gonna make one big one and I will put down the orange flowers. Let's see. Just using the needles. Put down the orange flowers and then I'll use a little bit of baby's breath. Put that right next to it. And I need another piece of baby's breath. There's one there. I'll put that right next to it. And now I need a flower for the top. And we're going to use these bright pink ones. We'll use these. They're so pretty. I want to come down a ways. And I need to get the other bright pink one out of here. It's way down there. Get that one and put it right there. I feel like it still needs something small, so I think I'm going to use these little blue and orange ones. Just for contrast of color and put that next to it. Or leaves. And you know what, I think I don't like this really, you can't see the bottom of this one. Let me scoot it up so you can see. There. I think I don't like this big leaf on the bottom of here, this one. So I'm gonna take that out. Now one thing I do know is when you have a leaf like this, you can pinch off a little piece just like that, and make a small one. So, I'm gonna take this big one out and put this small piece in there. And put this small piece under there. Let me move these first. Put this one down. Put down the orange one and then the little baby's breath. And see how different that one looks than that one. I think I like the little one best, so I'm gonna pinch off this piece off of this one. They're, they're dried flowers, so they do just pinch right off. And I'm gonna take out this big one, move these two, put the little flower down, and then put these down. Let's see, I'll put one there and one here. All right, now you do want to make sure that the lamination, the laminate sheets are right on top of each other before you close it, because once you close it, the, the top page of the laminate sheet will stick to these flowers and move them around. So once you have them specially lined up, strategically placed like you like, and everything looks perfect, just arranging them so they look extra on top of each other, in line with each other because things do shift. Then you close it. I think I'm gonna fix this one. I want this out a little more. All right, and they look like that. And then you close it. And that's just about ready to go into the laminating machine, but I like to trim off some of this extra sheet of laminate. So I'm gonna be trimming off some of this border on the edge, like between the sheets and the end of the laminate paper, just so that it'll fit inside the laminator a little bit easier. So I slide it in about here, and I'm gonna cut off all this trim. Like that. I find when the paper's narrower, it does not, catch as much inside the laminating machine. All right, so now that you have it perfectly like this, it just needs to go inside the lamination machine and pray that it doesn't catch or get stuck. Hold on one second, let me just get this in perfectly.
So now I'm going to put this to the side, turn off the laminator, and I'm going to show you how we cut them and label them, and they'll be ready for shipment. I like to use scissors, just regular old scissors, precision scissors, to cut the beginning. So I'm going to do that first. Just a rough cut. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I'll show you how we fix the rest. Kind of like that. And then this one, it bent right in the beginning, but it's okay. So we're gonna cut the majority of this off anyway, so. Now what I do is I'll take one like this and I'll cut down the middle to make it into two. This one, one of the flowers went over a little bit, but it's okay. Like this. Now that it's two, I'll cut along the edge. If there's any air bubbles, this is gonna be the top, right here, across the top of here. We left room to cut it open. If there's gonna be any air bubbles, you want to make sure you um, do not cut that part and leave it looking something like this. Let me see if I can get something behind here so you'll be able to see. Something like this. And I'll show you how we open up the top in a minute. So I'm gonna do that on all six of these. Now that we have all of them cut on the sides and the bottom, I bring back out the paper cutter. And this is how I cut off the top to make sure they're even. This is the top of the envelope and this is the bottom. So I slide the top in to the machine and I line it up with three inches because remember it was three inches long. And then I go one eighth of an inch in from that and cut off the top. And it looks like this. And this one's just about done except for labeling. And let me show you what it looks like with the dollar inside. It looks like that. All right, so I'm gonna do all the other ones, line it up with three inches, and then go in an eighth of an inch, cut off the top, and this one's complete. And this one looks like, looks like this. Pretty, huh? All right, so these are the three that we made. We made this one, two of those that look exactly the same, two of these, and two of these. And now we just have to label them. I'll be labeling all of these. These are the ones that I've already labeled. They'll be going to actual customers. These are the ones that I'm gonna be working on, these six right here. In order to make the labels, I just use a regular Dymo label maker. This is the brand, Dymo. And it has a, a cut function right here, but you just twist this to what you need. So let me get their categories. This set right here is gonna be lunch, miscellaneous, and beauty. So I would, for lunch, start with maybe a space. This is a space. And you just click. You hold it like this and you click in. That made that space. And you go to the letter L. Anything that's within this little bracket right here is how it's gonna be used. So we'll twist to L, L, click, U, N, C, H. And I'll go back 
back and put a space on the end. It starts to feed out of here. See, that's a ticket we're gonna pull out and it feeds out of there. I could put another space and then I'll use the cut function. It has a little pair of scissors and I'll cut And then we can take it out and it looks like this and that you just peel off the back and I stick it directly on here towards the top is how I had them market it so that's what I'm gonna do so there's one for lunch and beauty is gonna go on the pink one that one denotes beauty beauty miscellaneous Just like that. This is one customer's package, miscellaneous, beauty, food, it just doesn't have a dollar in it, and lunch. And those are all one set. All right, so for these, I have another list of categories. And I'm gonna stick it on this one. Miscellaneous. Peel it off. Now we'll do groceries on the yellow one pretty long and it'll probably go into the flower, but it's okay. Groceries. U, T, I, L, I, T, I, E, S, and space, and cut. Did you guys used to watch that MTV show called The Cut? <laughs> anyway, and then utilities goes on here. And that's it. That's the ones for another customer. It's utilities, groceries, miscellaneous, and gas. And so now I'm just going to package these out for order. But if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You too can make your own pressed flower envelopes. I'll put all the different products that you need down in the description in my Amazon storefront. You'll need the pressed flowers, the laminate paper, laminating machine, um, a paper cutter, some scissors, and the label maker. So I'll go ahead and include all that. So if you wanna make these yourself, you can. It's just another option, another variation on making some really pretty cash envelopes to carry around with you. I love looking at them and hopefully you like them too. All right, I think that's everything for today. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.